welcome to episode one of Bite Size Bagpipes. My name is Margaret and I'm from the National Piping Centre in Glasgow. And today we are going to look at the top hand of the scale. We'd love to hear how you're getting on and progressing through the series. So if you would like to share any of your progress, you can do so using our social media channels, which you can find at the end of this video. So first of all, the top hand scale. I'm going to use my left hand. So finding your left hand and placing your three fingers, the index, the middle and the ring finger on the top three holes here. And I'm going to use the first pads of my fingers to do that. There's a hole at the back of the chanter as well, which we're going to place our thumb on there. So if you notice, I'm using the first pads of my fingers. So that area is where you want to place your fingers. I'm at a little angle as well when I have my top hand on a chanter. If you think of like a minute hand, so this is o'clock, this is five past, ten past and quarter past. So we want our hand to be angled around 12 minutes past, somewhere like that. And that gives you the angle required for the top hand. So the first note, and you should see some music overhead, is E. And E is played with these two fingers down, this thumb at the back, and our ring finger up. So I'm going to blow that and sound the E note. And then lifting our middle finger, we'll get the next note, which is F. And then lifting our index finger, so having our three fingers up with the thumb still on the back, we get high G. And the next move is like a seesaw. So when our ring finger, we're going to place that down on hole number three on the top. And we're going to seesaw our thumb off. So high G. And that brings us to our top note, high A. And then we can do the reverse. So starting on high A, we're going to blow that note and then we're going to seesaw. So putting our thumb on and seesawing our ring finger off. So high A first. Brings us to high G. And now we're going to place our index finger down nice and straight. And that brings us back to E. So that would be the first thing to try to master on the, the chanter. Um, we have put a little challenge using those notes and one extra note, um, which if you can pitch using all fingers down, so these three fingers down and the thumb on the back. And this pitch is a D. So when you see D notated in our challenge, this is how you would pitch it. Once we put hands together, we will need our bottom hand as well to make that note correct. Um, so the challenge is Deck the Halls and it's a well-known Christmas carol and you can play it using the notes we've just learned. So starting with high A. see double dots at the end of the line which means we repeat it. So back to high A. And we finish with the D note that I've just shown you how to uh, create that pitch. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode. Remember hashtag bite-sized bagpipes and keep in touch on our social channels. Bye!